Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited to get started. Today we're going to be talking about how to sync up the Wix blog app with the Wix website app. It's super simple. Let's just get started. Okay, so here we are in the Wix editor. Everything's ready to go, but we do really want to add a blog. So what we're going to do is we're going to click over here. There's several different ways you can get to this. One of them is here on my blog. One of them is over here on add and you scroll down to a blog. That's my favorite way to do it. So I'm gonna scroll down to blog and then we click add to site. Now it's gonna take just a second. It's going to add your blog to your website. It's gonna create a whole new page for your blog. It's gonna ask you which blog is right for you. I always go with this one just because it's the most simple and you can always upgrade to something more. Keep it simple so you don't get overwhelmed. Okay, so now it's gonna take you directly to the blog manager. And the first thing you wanna do is to make this look like your website as much as possible, okay? So number one, let's go over to settings and you're going to click, let's just go through them step by step, okay? Just all of these different items here you can change. So display. What all do you want to have displayed on your blog? So I'm happy to have the author name. I'm, I don't really want an image or a bad. I don't know if I'm going to the publish date. I think I want to leave the publish date on because I do want to be relevant to the people that I'm serving. I'm going to take off reading time. I want to keep this description for sure. Okay. Because I want to give them like a little snippet before they click. I don't want to use counter or comments or likes counter and I definitely want to take off on the blog menu the site area, site members area because I don't want anyone to log in. Okay, like I'm not quite there yet. So I'm happy to have a blog menu. Category labels up here across the top and a search box on the right hand side. I think that is awesome. Let's go back to the layout. This is just kind of where your personal preference kicks in. I personally really like the editorial view because you can see everything at once and it gives them a better overview of what all you have to offer, okay? But you can change those settings in here. Let's talk about the design, the fun part. Okay, so we need to change all these fonts because they don't match my style. And that looks so much better. Okay, let's go back to buttons and margin. Okay, yep, I like that. Video setting, everything that's standard is pretty good to go. Posts definitely need a different font. And I'm going to decrease this to like 14. Category feed, obviously that's up here. So let's go back. We have changed everything here. Now let's move on to the post page, like the individual posts. Let's go to display. And again, we're going to take away some of this information. Okay, blog menu, again, make sure if you don't wanna log in, you need to uncheck that keep your category labels and search box if you like. Social sharing, cool. I mean, if you wanna share it, that would be great at this point. Comments, sure, let's enable comments. That's fine. Let's go to design, the blog menu. We're gonna to have to change this font again. Let's go to the post. So again, we're just going with Gotham Light across the board. Doesn't that just make you happy when you look at it and it's super clean? Yeah, that's what you want when people come to your website. You want them to be like, oh, I can spend some time here. There's not a million and a half things going on. We did the blog menu, post buttons and margins, background color with buttons. I still wanna stick with this green because I just love it. Tags, we do not want this font. Awesome. This looks pretty, pretty good, right? Cool. Something else you do not want to forget is to edit the mobile version of your blog. You want to go through, make sure that you enable mobile settings because you want to personalize it for mobile so that it's the most functional for people. Again, take off these things you don't want. Blog menu, again, take off login, sign up button if you do not want a member's login area. Go to layout, choose your layout style. Go to design. The title font size I think needs to be a little bit smaller so that you can see a few blog posts at once. Go to post page. Everything looks pretty good. We're going to click settings just to make sure. Play. Enable mobile settings. And then again, choose what you want to display here. Blog menu. Again, login, sign up, deselect. Design. Looks pretty good to me. Awesome. Now you have the Wix app connected to your website. It's looking good. It's looking how you want it. Now the real work begins, right? But let's get started on the next video, which I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of how you add your blog post, how you do the SEO to make sure your blog post gets found and is very organized and professional looking, how to add images, videos, 
pull quotes, and embed HTML, all this amazing stuff into your blog post. And finally, we're going to talk about how to bring people into your blog, so how you're going to reach people on Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Establishing a relationship with you, showing Google that you matter, and hopefully just building relationships and selling more of your products and services. So I hope you'll join us.